So this is the Art Pro Easel. It arrived a few days ago. I've been very patient and waited for the right moment because I wanted to film this, I wanted to get first impressions, and I'm very excited to use it. I think it's going to be pretty good. And just as a disclaimer, I've not been paid to review this. I've bought it with my own money. The reason why I've got this and the things I'm hoping it's going to help me with are for making getting ready faster, which means more paintings and more painting time, for carrying less equipment, which means getting out and about more easier, freedom to be able to paint with whatever size canvas you want to, and then ultimately hoping all those little extra features and upgrades will help be a better artist and a happier artist. And I think this might just help me in this pursuit. So with all that being said, let's open the box together and see what's inside. Right, so here we are. I've got the parcel, I've got a little brew, and I've got my little cutting implement so we can go ahead and open the parcel. So I ordered this a few weeks ago. I'm guessing from watching Vlad's video, because he makes them himself, he's got his own, uh, those machines, those CNC machines that make these. Um, so it might be that it's a made-to-order kind of device. If you don't know what a pallet box um, is, then it's a device that can hang on to any tripod, basically. Tripod legs on the side of the legs. And it closes up and you can keep your paint sealed. All that's good stuff. Great, so it looks like it's in con good condition. Wrapped it pretty well. Oh, it's feeling good. It's got my name on the front. Getting some nice wooden smells coming from here. Could already get a bit of a hint of how compact this is going to be, which is quite nice. I'll open that in a minute. Put that down here. This is the the mount, the canvas mount. Good thing about this paint box is that. It hangs onto the side of the tripod, leaving you with the head of the tripod to attach your canvas, basically. And I think that's really cool. Right, that's it. The technical name for this, they call it on their site, is the upright holder. So there'll be a, a connection on here that will attach to any, to your standard tripod mount. Nice. Now, the Art Pro easel. And the one I purchased was the, the 400, which is the smallest size. I felt like that was good for me. I wanted it to be light as possible. So it's called the Art Pro Small 400 by 38. Ooh. Oh, it smells really good. There we go. Mmm. We've got the Art Pro easel. And then we've got the... Uh, the holding mount. It's good. This is very light, and this is very light too. It feels really good. All right, let's open it up. It's one side, and this is the other side. Great. So there we are. That is the that's the easel. That's the easel size. It's pretty big, really, in a way, for the small one. And you'll notice when I close it. When I close the second door, it's got a magnet inside, so it doesn't swing open. Ooh. And then we've got the bolts that will attach that to the head of the easel. Two little nuts. And then we've got two bolts. Protective paper, let's get rid of that. So these are the two hooks that will go on either side to hook onto the uh, tripod. <whistles> Looks like this is for the inside of the rail of here. Then put that into that hole like that and then feed the bolt through the back and then grab one of these nuts and tighten it up on here. 
And if we look from behind, we can see the rail and we can see that little piece of dowling and the bolt on that back and the hook like that. Right, so that's them both on top. So you can move them side to side. So what this allows you to do is to change the height of the pallet, basically. So you might want it quite high or you might want it quite low, the point at which the legs come out from these side points, basically. If we put them closer, this would be kind of where the tripod's getting more narrow to the top. So that's nice. And it seems fairly easy to take these on and off. So that's the hooks. Um, talking of hooks, there's one hook at the front. This will be for hanging your, um, your metal pot for washing your paints. On the left side, we've got a space here that could be a pallet, same as this one, and same as that one basically. But looks like it's suggested here that you could put your brushes, lay them down here, different sizes. And also you've got these holes here, which I think are pretty good. It's a good use of using the flap on there. Some brass hinges, four of those. Underneath, we've got a QR code with Pro Art Easel underneath. The logo on the left panel. And I think that is all the features. It feels pretty good, the workmanship of it. It's very accurate, it's very smooth and it smells nice. I'm looking forward to using these uh, holes here for putting brushes in and just throwing them in, picking them up when you need to. This model is the uh, 400, which means it is 400 wide when closed. And then this height, not including the hooks, is 31, so 310 millimeters. And it feels pretty good. And they come even in bigger sizes as well. If we look at their website, this is the one I've got in my hands right now. This is the 500, the 400 again, but by 12, uh, 600, and then the, another 500. So the pallet area, the workable size is, it says 14 by nine inches which feels pretty good. Any smaller, I don't think I would have wanted that. Any bigger would be nice, I guess, but then you've got to consider the, the space in your bag and the weight. And I wanted this to be as light as possible as my new painting setup. It comes with two finishes, teak oil and natural wood finish. This one, I assume, is the teak oil. I can smell it, it's quite nice. So I'll, I'll read the, uh, the brief description of, of this device. Designed and made for the artist, by the artist and made from hand-selected Baltic birch, the most balanced and strongest plywood used in marine applications. Hand-coated and protected with several layers of teak oil to give you the most robust protection from moisture. Art Pro Easel makes it easy and fast to set up and paint. Designed and made in Loverville, Maryland, with a proud stamp made in the USA. Right, so that's that. Let's close that up. Oh, one last thing though. I'll use uh, linseed oil to apply into here. Um, normally I would varnish stuff, but I find it starts to chip and come off and linseed oil is quite good. But maybe in the future I'll put a bit of plastic in here or even a piece of glass. So as I explained earlier that the, the special thing about this pallet paint box, if you've not seen before, they just hook onto the tripod and that leaves you with the head of the tripod to add your canvas mount holder, which is this. Similar nuts to before, what we saw over there. Very sturdy, I can't see these breaking. And it's, it's quite lightweight as well actually, but still feels strong. Do that. And then you can keep away vampires. There's no real up or down on it, which doesn't matter. And here, I've just noticed, we've got a little nut in the middle. And this comes out, and then we can, that reveals the hole. Is it, I think it's a three quarter inch hole that tripods have. And then your tripod head would go into there basically. So you wouldn't need to make sure that the tripod you're using can actually um, tilt by 90 degrees, otherwise it's just gonna sit like that. So that's worth bearing in mind, but I imagine most people that are doing this have a, have a decent tripod really. So with that fixed to the back of the tripod, you can then adjust these arms and 
insert whatever size canvas you want. Let's double check what those sizes are. So this is 21 inches tall by two inches. The maximum vertical height of the canvas you can get is uh, 18 inches tall, which is pretty big, isn't it? You know, that's just, it's just what you want really, especially if you're out and about painting, you might not be carrying anything bigger than that. So that's nice that. And these, these hooks, they would kind of bite the canvas basically, or, or your panel would like fit underneath those. Basically. And it feels pretty strong, even though the center bit is all empty. Nothing re reinforcing it on the back. And then the nice thing about this, there's no restriction on the uh, horizontal size of your canvas. And for me, that's quite exciting. I do like to paint big, and it's one of the main reasons why I got this set up in the first place. I think that'll be enough talk about this now. I'm excited to use it, but I'll bring you along with me and I'll film myself setting this up outside. I'll do a little quick painting. Can't promise that'll be good, but I can promise you that I'll be able to say what it's like using this. But like I said earlier, I'll do a much more in-depth review once I've used this a lot more, because I've literally just only opened this today. Right, so I've had my first day out with the Art Pro easel. I have to say I was looking forward to it a lot and I wasn't disappointed really. So to begin with, I threw up the tripod. In my case, I used an aluminum tripod, which is usually used for watercolours. So I've not used this yet. I don't doubt it anyway, but I will use it next time. But just for the ease of use of that day, I went out. I want it to be light as possible. So with the tripod deployed, it's time for the Art Pro to make its first appearance. So for me taking this out, I actually deconstructed it a little bit. I had to take off the hooks with the screws and the bolts on the top side because it wouldn't slide into my rucksack, which is a bit unfortunate because I want, I want my painting session to be quite quick. And I want to just pull things out, place them on. I don't want to be screwing stuff in, attaching them, finding bolts and such. But I might figure this out at some point. I might figure out a way to do this a bit faster and I might be able to fit in the bag anyway. Once that was hooked on, I applied the paint put out a few brushes, got my terps poured, hooked up my little paint pot on the side. Another reason for me getting the Art Pro easel in the first place is that I wanted like space to work with. Because what ends up happening when you're out and about, you don't have your usual tables and shelves to put your tools in. You certainly don't have any drawers to pull stuff out. Yes, you could buy a big paint box and bring that out, but it's huge, it'd be heavy and not very practical and I want to keep things light and simple. So it's very refreshing to have a surface in front of me for my painting, for my brushes, and other bits and bobs. It felt very, felt very professional. And I was very impressed because this is the smallest size you could get. And it's more than suitable to kind of fit that need of having a work surface. I don't have much negative things to say about it, really. I feel like my concerns with it are things that I'll learn to overcome. Things that could be resolved or fixed or just spending more time with it, I can just learn how to use it better, basically. Another thing that I was concerned about happening was the tilt on it as well, because it's made to hook onto any tripod, and if the hooks are too big or small, it's going to change the way it's going to tilt. It's fairly tilted at the moment, but I didn't mind it actually. I didn't, I didn't actually notice it after a while, and in a way, I think it is good to have a tilt because it's then looking at you face on a bit more, whereas it being flat like that. And if you did want it to be a bit more upright, you could probably just attach some tape around the ends of the hook, possibly, to kind of bolster it up. So I thought that downward tilt would be a negative for me, but I actually quite like it now. Another thing I've noticed, which I didn't think about before purchasing, was that any paint applied in the middle, if I put a real chunky piece of paint there, it will get squashed by that because you've got a lip alongside here as well. Because uh, I, do, I do remember on my research looking at similar paint boxes that they would sometimes, they wouldn't have that there basically, but I can imagine that's just good for strength anyway. And you can't complain about the, the weight of it, it's fine. Feels good. It's just easy to apply and put on again. And like any new piece of equipment, it's going to take time to get used to it. So I'm looking forward to get some more hours clocked in, painting on it. And once I do, I'll definitely do a follow-up video, go a bit more in depth, because it is important at the end of the day that, this, that your equipment for painting outside is going to be light, 
it's easy to set up because it already is a bit of a faff going outside to paint. And don't get me wrong, I do love being outside. It's nice to be outside, be surrounded by nature or in the street, but it really goes a long way when you can just get set up quickly and you're not knackered from just carrying lots of heavy equipment. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking of getting one or I'd love to know if you do have one and how you get on with it as well.